What's going on guys? In this video, we will talk about how to start a t-shirt business with a Cricut machine and a heat press. This is a really cool and easy way to start a t-shirt business if you're on a budget. I will show you how to make a t-shirt with these machines and we're also going to go over some really cool stuff you can do with them. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. So first, let's talk about the things that you will need. You will need a Cricut machine, you will need a heat press machine, you will need iron-on heat transfer vinyls, and you will also need heat transfer tape. I will leave an Amazon link for all these items under the video. Alright guys, so first let me show you how to make a t-shirt with a Cricut machine. The first thing we're going to do is get a design. We're going to use this Air Jordan sneaker as an example. So let's go ahead and download this picture from Google Images. Every Cricut machine is going to come with a Cricut Design Space software. You can also download the software online. Let's go ahead and open up the software. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is click on New Project. We're going to click Upload. Click Upload Image. Click Browse. And let's select our file, this one right here. Now the next thing that we will have to do is make a separate layer for each color. So this picture right here has three colors, so we will have to make three separate layers. So click simple, click continue. The first layer that we're going to make is going to be the black one. So what we're going to do is delete every color that's not black. So click the magic wand tool right here. Let's delete the background. And now let's delete all the colors. We're going to delete the red, delete the white, delete all these reds right here. You will delete all these reds and then click continue. Click cut image and click upload and your file will save. Now we're going to do the second layer. Again, click upload image, click browse, select our file. Now we're going to do the red color, click simple, click continue, click on the magic wand tool. Always start by removing the background first. And now we will delete everything that's not red. So let's delete this white right here, all this right here. And now what you guys will see is these lines right here. We're gonna have to delete these as well. So click the eraser tool and you're gonna go ahead and delete all these lines. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, when you guys are done, again, you're going to hit continue, click cut image, and click upload, and the file is going to save. You're going to do the same thing for the white color, and when you make all three files, you will be ready to go ahead and make your project. So let's start with the first layer, the black one. Let's select it, click add to canvas, and you guys see the first layer is right here. Now we're going to click upload. We're going to add the second layer, which is going to be the red layer. Let's select it, hit add to canvas. We're going to change the color to red. And we're going to carefully align everything so it matches. And now we're going to add our white layer. Click Upload. Select the white layer. This right here. Click Add to Canvas. Select the white color. And align everything so it matches. Make sure you align everything carefully. Just like that. So everything is done. The next step is to make the image. Click Make It. We're going to start with the black layer. So let's select it. Make sure you mirror the image. Connect your Cricut machine. Hit Continue and the machine will start cutting the first layer. All right guys, so we're gonna take our black sheet, we're gonna place it glossy side down, align it carefully on the Cricut mat, and insert it into the machine. You're gonna press the arrow button and it's gonna slide in. After this, you will press the cut button and the machine will start cutting the image out. Depending on how complex the image is, it will usually take about a minute or two to cut the image out. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, it came out a little bit blurry, but you can see how the machine cut out the silhouette. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the white sheet, we're going to go back on the Cricut app, select the white layer, and press cut. And after this, we will do the red sheet. So now we're done cutting all our vinyl sheets. Now the next thing we're going to do is weed the image. Make sure you do this carefully. You don't want to make any mistakes here. If you have a simple image, this is a quick process. But if your image has a lot of detail, it will take you a little bit longer. Always double check to make sure that you peeled everything correctly. Alright guys, now that all three layers have been weeded, it's time to heat press them onto the t-shirt. The first thing that we're going to do is take our blank t-shirt and we're going to pre-press it to get all the moisture out. This will ensure that the vinyl will stick on the shirt and the shirt will last a long time. You should press at around 300 degrees for no more than 10 seconds. After this, we're going to take our first layer, which is the black layer, and we're going to carefully place it on the t-shirt. We're going to use heat transfer tape to make sure the vinyl does not move around when it's being pressed. After this, we will take the t-shirt and carefully put it on the heat press. We're going to press it for around 15 seconds at 320 degrees. After this, we're going to take the shirt out, let it cool off for around 30 seconds, and we will then slowly peel off the vinyl. Vinyl sheets peel perfect almost every single time, so you guys don't have to worry about bad peels. Alright guys, so now we're going to do the exact same thing with the white layer. We're carefully going to place it on the shirt, align it, and press it. We're going to let it cool off for around 30 seconds, and then peel it. Alright, so as you guys can see, we now have two layers. We have the white layer and the black layer, and now we're going to do the last layer, which is the red layer. So again, we're going to carefully line everything. We're going to tape it with the heat transfer tape. We're going to press it and then we're going to peel it. And just like that, the shirt is done. 
Also, if you want the shirt to last a long time, do a couple of very light stretches where the image is and do a very quick five second press. So besides making regular t-shirts, there's a bunch of cool stuff you could do, such as making 3D puff shirts. Let me show you guys an example. So this time we're going to use a 3D vinyl. We're gonna cut out the image. We're gonna carefully place the image onto the t-shirt. We're going to tape it with heat transfer tape. We're gonna press the shirt for around 30 seconds and then we're gonna peel off the tape. We will then do the same thing with the second layer, which is the white layer. We're gonna press it and then we're gonna peel it. And if you guys look closely, you can see this is a 3D image. So there's all kinds of vinyls that you guys can buy. Let's go over some of them. All right guys, so when you're first starting out, I strongly suggest you buy your heat transfer vinyls on Amazon. Amazon has a large selection of different types of vinyl. It's a little bit more expensive than buying wholesale. But when you're first starting out on learning, I think it's better to buy the ones on Amazon. Also, I suggest that you guys start with the official Cricut brand vinyl transfer sheets. These are the best quality, so you know what to compare to. Also, when you guys buy these, make sure you're buying iron on heat transfer vinyls and not just regular vinyl. Regular vinyl will not stick to t-shirts. So always make sure you're buying iron on heat transfer vinyls. Now, of course, there are a ton of different vinyls. You have everything from metallic vinyl to glitter vinyl to all types of patterns to glow in the dark and 3M vinyls. So really with this, your creativity is limit. Now, when you actually start your t-shirt business, you will want to start buying your vinyl sheets from Alibaba.com wholesale. So as you guys can see, these sheets cost under a dollar each, but you can get them for a lot cheaper if you order on Alibaba wholesale. So let's say it costs you $2 to get a blank shirt. By the way, you guys can get blank shirts on JiffyShirts.com and it costs you 50 cents for a vinyl sheet. It'll cost you around $2.50 to make a t-shirt. And what you guys will do next is start selling these t-shirts on Etsy and eBay. Let me show you guys a couple examples. All right, guys, so here's an example of a t-shirt. This seller has 2,968 sales. This shirt right here is easily made with a Cricut machine. He's selling it for $18 and it costs him only a couple dollars to make. And as you guys see right here, he's getting sales. He's getting positive feedbacks. Let's take a look at some of his other items. He has this chief shirt right here. Again, easily made with the Cricut machine. This shirt right here, again, easily made. It just requires an orange vinyl and a white vinyl sheet. We have all these shirts right here. All of these shirts are easily made with Cricut machines and they only cost a few dollars to make. You guys can easily start a business selling shirts like this. Let's take a look at another seller. This guy has 4,251 sales. He's selling these shirts for $28. A shirt like this is again easily made with a Cricut machine. As you guys can see right here, he's getting a bunch of sales and he's getting positive feedbacks. We have very simple shirts like this and this one right here. So if you're a teenager and you want to start an online business selling t-shirts, buying a Cricut machine is a great way to do that. You can make professional looking t-shirts with a Cricut machine. It's inexpensive and the quality is great. Also, your t-shirt will last a long time. The only problem with Cricut machines is that you're limited to designs and logos. You cannot make any picture images. And if you have a very detailed image, it can take a long time to weed out. Also, I know the title of the video says you can start this business with $300. It's a little bit over $300. But if your budget is $300, you can simply get a used Cricut machine. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.